Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, if you've ever been to an IKEA furniture store, you know it's pretty hard to get out of there without picking up some of the coffee or some of the cookies or some of the chocolate on the way out, not to mention the cinnamon rolls. Well, today, guys, I'm going to show you a really cool website that's partnered up with IKEA that uh, basically explains directly where your coffee came from, all the way down to the plantation or coffee farm that grew it. So hang tight, guys. We're going to check this out. It's going to be cool. All right, here we go. All right, so now the first question you might ask is, you know, why do I really care where my coffee comes from? I'm going to buy it, I'm going to brew it, I'm going to drink it. Well, a lot of times companies advertise their products as certified organic or fair trade, and I like to make sure that my money is going towards a company that's taking care of the people that grow the product. And many times those companies, you just can't find that information anymore, whether it's chocolate or coffee or any other kind of commodity that's out there. Uh, a lot of the times you really don't know where it's coming from. You can call the company and ask and they might tell you. Well, the website that we're going to go to, it shows you specifically the farm, plantation, hacienda, etc., where the coffee is grown. So, all you got to do is go ahead and open up a browser window on your computer, and we're just doing this uh, with a little screen in screen so I can make the instructions a little bit easier. Go on over to uh, utzcertified.org backslash IKEA, and I'll put that uh, web address across the top of the screen here for you, and I'll put it in the description box as well as a pinned comment down below. Now, once you get to that website, this is what it's going to look like when it opens up, and you're going to see all the different coffee products that IKEA currently carries. And uh, they've got not only coffee, but then they also expand down to their cocoa products, their chocolate, and so on. Because, again, chocolate's another one of those commodities where, you know, you want to make sure that the people growing it are being compensated for the work that they do as fairly as possible, right? Uh, so, anyway, all you got to do is just look at your package and okay, figure out what package you have. Um, I've got the patar, which is on the top right-hand side. Now, I don't speak Swedish. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it. That's probably completely wrong, but that's not the point. So, what we have here is ground coffee, dark roast, organic. Now, all you have to do is look on the top of your package in the top well, bottom right corner of your package you've got PD for a production date and BB for Best Buy so find that date now the majority of the dates that I've checked do in fact show a listing the plantation and so on um, if you happen to find one that does not have the date, they do upload the, the, the dates and the, the data uh, continuously. So there is a chance that you might not get this information, but the majority of the dates that I've looked up do in fact show the information. So my coffee expires on uh, July 6th of 2019. So all you have to do is just find the little drop down menu down below. Let's get this out of the way here. And you just simply pick the uh, BB or the Best Buy date, find it, click on it. It will autofill in this box right here. And then after that, just go ahead and click on, just go ahead and click on that, click on trace, and what it's going to do is open up the map of the different uh, coffee farms that produce your coffee, and I thought this was kind of cool. So you've got the uh, geographical map, and you can zoom in. I'm not sure exactly how far it'll go, but you can see where it comes from. So the coffee that I have here comes from Peru. The majority of it comes from Peru. And they've got the listings on the map from the region that it comes from. And if you really get into coffee, you really enjoy it, you can check out and see what kind of characteristics that kind of coffee has. I'm kind of a coffee geek like that, so I do apologize. But anyway, as we zoom down or look down on the screen, they've got the uh, the different names of the, uh, the plantations and so on. They're all Lima, except for one that is San Ignacio. Uh, and again, you can see if it's a cooperative or if it's a single farm. If you click on read more, it's then going to open up a new window that's going to give you even more information. You even have the address of the plantation that produced the, uh, or the headquarters of the plantation that produced your coffee, uh, the zip code, the city, and so on. They've got the uh, origin of the coffee down below from Peru. They talk about the different types that they grow, how it's grown, how it's processed, and so on. How it's, in fact, uh, is it UTZ or UTZ? Not sure, not sure exactly. Certified. And uh, it does give you just kind of a little heads up on where it's coming from. So you can, in fact, see, you know, where, where your product comes from. So anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. I thought that was kind of cool. So again, you would just go to the uh, utzcertified.org backslash IKEA uh, webpage. Okay, look up your coffee, like I said before. Check out the expiration date and then click on trace and it should give you, uh, now the thing is if you choose the next date or the prior date, say the trace doesn't give you any kind of results, you get a no, no listening notice. Um, if you click a day before or after, there's a chance it's going to be accurate or not. So I would just say, uh, just hang tight because eventually UTZ will get that information up there for you. Um, even though this doesn't expire for another year. Okay. So anyway, that's it guys. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you don't know, I do have an A channel that's based around shooting sports, outdoors, hunting, guns, etc. 
uh, do check it out. It's called Travis P11. I'm also a huge fan of coffee. Um, I, su I support many different coffee companies. I'm a big fan of Black Rifle Coffee Company, as well as Ikea. I love their coffee. I always start up with a couple cups anytime I get to go shopping there, which for me is kind of a big deal because the nearest Ikea is five hours away, six hours away. So it's a bit of a journey for us. But anyway, that's it. So if you're going to shop, try to shop responsibly. Get some fair trade cocoa or chocolate or coffee and uh, do your part as a consumer. All right, so that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, you, we got a lot more videos coming your way. Check out the playlist, a lot of old school tech reviews, a lot of new stuff coming down the pipe. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll have a lot of good stuff coming up for you. But in the meantime, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and enjoy that cup of coffee. Bye-bye.